gentlemen, this is Mr. Hydra, and we are playing Rust Console Edition for the PlayStation 5. Uh, we're currently on episode 2 now of our electrical guide for our medium base build. And in this episode, we're focusing on how we can bring our power in. So there's a number of ways that we can bring our power in. Um, and we can go over to them here. So the first one is going to be our wind turbine. Um, this makes the most amount of power, but it's the biggest. It requires the most amount of materials to build, uh, and it's the farthest down on your tech tree. So uh, this will probably be one of the last things that you use, but uh, it's definitely worthwhile to get them and use them when you can. It's very important. Uh, and also when it comes to your wind turbines, the very best thing you can do is have them above 10 stories. So however tall your base is, add a big power tower on top of that so you can get your wind turbines up high. And uh, the more over 10 stories you can get, um, the better. Uh, the next thing we have here we're going to have is the small generators. Uh, these require low grade fuel. Uh, so they're good for backups, but you don't want to use them all of the time because, you're again, you're going to be burning through a lot of low-grade fuel in order to power all of your systems and your batteries and stuff. Uh, this outputs 40 power. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's not the best, but it's not bad. This will easily charge a small battery, no problem. Uh, and two of these will charge a medium battery, uh, no problem, because 80 power is more than enough. Uh, to supply that and last but not least we have our solar panels so solar panels kick out 20 units of energy each and uh, but they're one of the best um, sources you can use because during our uh, day and night cycles we have 10 minutes of nighttime and we have 30 minutes of daytime so these are going to be on for three quarters of the time providing you power um, and it's just it's and because of that, we're able to supply more power into our base that we're going to be using at night. Um, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. So these are your main power sources. Uh, oh, last but not least for the solar panel is they 100% uh, percent depend on the direction of the sun. Now, from all of the servers that I've tested so far, uh, the sun is in the south, so my shadow is always facing uh, north in some direction, either northwest, northeast, or directly north, depending on the time of day. So that means we want to position all of our solar panels, or most of them, uh, to the south. Now, I like to have eight solar panels on my build, uh, eight to ten. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first four solar panels are going to be facing south. And then I'm going to have two solar panels facing southwest and two solar panels facing southeast. Uh, just to help collect that extra little bit of sun that you're going to get uh, throughout the morning and the evening. It does add up and it does help. And uh, you definitely want to use that. So how do we combine all of those together? Well, let's take a look. So... If you only have two uh, things that need to be combined, then that's fairly easy. You only need one root combiner. Um, the best way to tell how many root combiners you're going to need is to add up all of your power supplies. Um, and however many you have, you're going to minus one. So for me, I have eight solar panels and two wind turbines. So I have 10 uh, things that are bringing in power. So I'm going to need nine electrical branches. And as we get down here, I'll show you how to set those up. Uh, but for now, if you only need two, uh, which is enough to run your small battery, uh, you can just set them up to here. And then if you're looking at increasing it to three, uh, then you have a setup like this. And then three batteries at 60 power uh, that'll be more than enough to supply your medium battery and cover what you uh, use at night. But if you really want to be sh uh, sure and secure, um, I would have at least uh, four solar panels on your medium battery to charge it. Um, just to make your system nice and robust and you don't have to worry about not having enough power. Um, Next thing is if you need to have five, you know, one, two, three, four, and then we have our fifth one. Um, and then say we need to 
we want to have uh, another one. So we're going to add another electrical branch, wherever it'll let me here. And we're going to combine that power up to there. And now we have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is how we're going to run six solar panels. And then this is your 10 uh, uh, unit setup. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the best way to uh, set these up and the easiest way to set these up are is to make these little trees. So you have one, two, three. Uh, to make them into little trees, we have one, two, three, and then if we have to add an extra one on, we just add one on there and then one on top. And then for this system, same thing, one, two, three, one, two, three. We add an extra one on top to combine all of these to make a big triangle, and then we just have our two on the side as well. So all of those get all connected to power, and then you go from your all from your combined power output and I like to run all of that stuff to an electrical counter before I do anything else. So in this case, I have a whole pile of solar panels up on the roof right now, um, just because people keep blowing them up on me and I wanted to have enough power to run everything for this tutorial. So as you can see, we have 340 power right now, and that's running up to my solar panels on my splitter. So that's how you're gonna bring your power into your base. Um, it's very important that you do this. Uh, rather than using electrical branches or anything else. And again, none of these will will seep or take any power from your system. You will get full power going through it, and these don't cost anything to run. Um, yeah, so that is your power in system. And this is the end of the episode. In the next episode, we're going to show you how to take this power and how to uh, what to do with it. So you... Um, creating trees and my infinite power system or basically an infinite power system uh, but that's going to be for the next episode i look forward to seeing you guys there and as always thank you guys for uh, watching and i would appreciate it if you liked subscribed and shared this video with all of your friends uh, yeah so that's it thanks guys very much have a great day ciao